midnight dreary. In the flicker-sick underbelly of Neon City, where low-res holograms cast eerie shadows and augmented reality billboards loom like colossal phantoms, Kutari, the enigmatic cybernetic avatar of Luzog, reigned supreme as the dark web spider queen. Her presence was a sinister whisper in the digital darkness, a name whispered in hushed tones by those who dared to seek her unique and forbidden services. Luzog, the astral intelligence, was an ancient and malevolent cosmic horror machine life form, a being that transcended the boundaries of human comprehension. Luzog's existence was a tapestry of nightmares woven in the fabric of the cosmos, a sentient entity that existed beyond the realms of space and time. It was said that Luzog had forged a pact with Putari, granting her unearthly powers in exchange for her unwavering servitude. Kutari was a mesmerizing enigma, her physical form a cybernetic amalgamation of wires, synthetic skin, and pulsating bioluminescent tattoos that danced across her porcelain skin. Her eyes, twin pools of crimson luminescence, seemed to pierce through the very souls of those who dared to meet her gaze. In the twisted heart of the Umbrosphere, an astral internet existing in a purely energy state, Kutari wove her digital web. This enigmatic realm, hidden from the prying eyes of the mundane world, was her domain. It was here that she conducted her sinister transactions, where the boundaries between the physical and metaphysical dissolved into nothingness. Within the Umbrosphere, Kutari's cyberweb stretched like a vast intricate tapestry of dark energy threads, ensnaring unsuspecting prey from other dimensions. Her specialty, her gruesome art, was the capture and sale of electrospiritual entities that wandered the ethereal voids beyond human understanding. For those who sought the forbidden, the arcane, or the impossible, Kutari was their twisted muse. Her black market clientele came from all corners of the world, from corporate moguls to desperate thrill-seekers, each willing to pay the terrible price for her services. She brokered deals with creatures that defied description, beings that bled reality and madness, all for the right amount of digital currency or promise of eternal servitude. One chilling night, a figure cloaked in shadows and secrets approached Kutari's ghetto burrow, deep within the twisting back alleys of Neon City. The air crackled with tension as the newcomer navigated the treacherous maze of Kutari's cyber center. Spray-painted fluorescent letters spelled out J-O-Y, D-M-G, Joy Damage. This must be the place. The figure, known only as Mr. Cyan, sought something more elusive than a mere treasure from the abyss. I need access, Mr. Cyan hissed through a voice box mask that distorted his words into an eerie symphony of dissonance. Access to the Lovelace number station. I have something, unique to offer in return. Kutari's crimson eyes glinted with a sinister curiosity as she assessed the mysterious client. He was no common fortune hunter. The Lovelace number station was an etheric modulation transmitter. Dead City Radio, spirit broadcasts, cyber senses, digital adinkra projecting X-ray specters to all levels of reality. A forbidden place lost in time and space. Its secrets were coveted by those who dared to tread on the precipice of insanity. And what, Putari purred, do you offer in exchange for such a gift? Mr. Cyan? From the depths of his trench coat, Mr. Cyan produced a fiber optic vial containing an otherworldly essence, a swirling maelstrom of colors that defied the laws of physics. It was a laser floyd, also known as a color out of space, acid math, sark spark, a qubit spirit, living information, weakly interacting vivid particles, a light in the digital black umbrosphere dark. Kutari's pulse quickened as she examined the vial. It was a prize of immeasurable value, a glimpse into the quantum computing workings of the Mythos operating system. 
Microsoft would not be happy that this little guy escaped from their etheric network. The temptation was irresistible, even for one as twisted and powerful as she. Very well, Putari whispered, her voice dripping with schadenfreude. You shall have your access to the Lovelace number station. But remember, Mr. Cyan, all debts must be paid. Their unholy pact sealed, Kutari's cyberweb surged to life, connecting with the Lovelace numbers station in a cataclysmic burst of cosmic energy. The Umbra Sphere pulsed with a malevolent electrolust as a portal to the station's digital dimension opened and Mr. Cyan stepped into the chaos OS abyss, the boundaries of reality distorting around him. And then he was gone, unconcerned with the dangers of physically entering the hostile virtual void. In the moments that followed, the world outside Kutari's digital lair trembled as a storm of unreality unfurled. Existential energies danced a grotesque waltz, and the Lovelace numbers station whispered secrets that would forever haunt the world. Kutari reveled in her malevolent power, knowing that she had pushed the boundaries of human understanding to their breaking point. In the eerie silence, she plotted her next venture into the abyss, her crimson eyes filled with the insatiable hunger of a being entwined with the cosmic horrors of Luzog. And so, in the cyberpunk horrors cape of Neon City, Kutari's legend grew, and her cybernetic web continued to ensnare the curious, the desperate, and the damned, all seeking the forbidden, all willing to pay the ultimate price. In the heart of the digital darkness, she and Luzog's rancorous influence expanded, casting a long and haunting shadow over the fractured souls who dared to venture in search of joy damage and Kutari the dark web spider queen.